morning. Happy Monday. This is my wife on our front porch leading her now virtual Padua Academy homeroom this morning. When I call your name, just say here. And as Delaware School District set up places where food challenged families can pick up meals for kids. I don't want to see any children go hungry. An act of kindness and a tough time from the owner of a few popular Delaware hot dog stands like this one outside the Home Depot in Newcastle. We always have a policy here that if someone comes up, even if they don't have any money, we will feed them. If there's any families that are going to miss a meal because schools are closed, we're going to pick that up. In Delaware, we now know one of Senator Carper's staffers has tested positive. I caught up with he and Senator Coons at the train station in Wilmington. He gave me an update on his employee. And uh, home, feeling good within 48 hours. And a uh, young person, and then uh, uh, young people tend to bounce back more quickly. Senator Carper hoping to push for the quicker development of a vaccine. He and Senator Coons also hoping to pass a supplemental spending bill that will guarantee free coronavirus testing, paid sick leave, and unemployment insurance for folks who lose their jobs. He is also focusing on the health of his own staff. We're distributing laptops and making sure that everybody who wants to can work from home. Uh, but I'm also concerned um, that we be answering our phones and responsive to constituents as much as is possible. And then there's Rocky, this puppy oblivious to the craziness around him. He and many others here in Glasgow Park making the best of their newfound time. Hopefully with some social distancing and good hygiene, we can kickflip past this crisis. In the meantime, the sun still shines. I mean, I think it's important to take like the right precautions and everything, but at the same time, you can still go out and be in fresh air and take advantage of the day. Late today, Delaware confirmed another positive case. Christiana Care has gone ahead and suspended all elective surgeries. And the governor today said Delaware restaurants and bars can only now be takeout or delivery. No more dining in. We're going to continue to keep you posted here in Delaware. In Wilmington, I'm Tim Furlong, NBC 10 News.